What a friend it's me, Emma. Today we are going to read Percy the Park Keeper. One book out of about four books. So this is part one of four books that I'm going to read in four different videos. So stay tuned to read the first book. So this is Percy the Park Keeper and it's going to be read by me. It's cold in the park at, in winter but Percy the Park Keeper doesn't mind. He puts on his worn coat and his big scarf and wears two pairs of woolly socks inside his woolly boots. Percy likes to be out in the fresh air. In the middle of the park there is a little hut this is where Percy lives. When it gets too cold to be outside, Percy goes into his hut where it's cosy and warm. The animals who live in the park all know Percy's hut. Every day he shares his lunch with them. Once winter, one winter night, it was so cold, it began to snow. Great big snowflakes fell past the window of Percy's hut. Brr, said Percy, I think I'll need a extra blanket tonight. He made himself some hot cocoa and got ready for bed. Suddenly Percy heard a tapping sound. There was somebody at the door. No, now who can that be at this time of night, thought Percy. He went to the door and looked out. There on the step was a squirrel. It looked very cold and miserable. I can't get to sleep, Percy said the squirrel. My bed is full of snow. Oh dear, said Percy, never mind. I've got plenty of room for two. He the squirrel snuggled down next to Percy and soon began to feel warm. Knock, knock. It was the door. It was the door again. Now who can that be? Thought Percy. Standing outside were two shivering rabbits it's freezing it's for freezing said one rabbit with for frozen said the other you poor things said percy come in and warm up Come in and warm up. The rabbit squeezed into the bed next to Percy and the squirrel. There wasn't much room. 
Percy and the squirrel. There wasn't much room. Could you face the other way? Percy asked the squirrel. Your tail is tickling my nose. Knock, knock. Oh dear, said Percy. Now there's someone else at the door. It was a fox. He looked very cold and hungry. Can I come in too? He asked. Percy scratched his head and thought for a minute. Well, if you promise to behave, he said. I promise, said the fox. And he squeezed into the bed so he squeezed into the bed next to all the other animals. Bump boop the squirrel fell out. Who did that? asked the squirrel crossly. Knock knock knock. Knock knock knock. Good gracious, said Percy. It's the door again. This this time Percy had quite a surprise. There on the step was a badger, two ducks, a hedgehog and a whole family of mice. They all wanted a bed for the night. Poor old Percy and poor old Percy's bed. The animals pushed and shoved and rolled around the bed. But there was just not enough room for them all. Soon... The bed covers ended up in a big tight ball. Then bump, the covers rolled right off the bed and everybody fell in onto the floor. Oh dear, said Percy, this won't do at all. My bed is just too small. Suddenly one of the mice pricked, pricked up his ears, pricked up his ears. What's that noise? said he squeaked. Everyone listened hard. Now they could all hear it. There was a scratching, scraping sound. It seemed to be coming from underneath them. There's something moving underneath the floor, whispered Percy. The animals looked frightened and the mice all stared, started to squeak at once. Dear, what can it be? It might be a monster. With fierce claws and sharp teeth, the noise grew louder and louder. The once of then one of the floorboards began to move. Look out! It's coming up through the floor. Suddenly, there was a loud creak. Help! cried the animals, and they all ran to hide. But Percy wasn't frightened. It started to, he started to chuckle. Then he laughed out loud. A small dark head was sticking up through the floorboard. This isn't a monster. 
sir, says Percy. It's a mole. I'm sorry to burst in like this, said the mole. I knocked on the door, but nobody heard me. Percy helped the mole up through the hole in the floor, sat him on his hot water bottle to get warm and put the floorboard back. It's all right, everyone, he called. You can come out now. But nobody moved. Nobody stirred. Nobody wanted to come out. The squirrel was tucked away in the pocket of Percy's dressing gown. The hedgehog was in his coat. The fox, the rabbits, the badger, the ducks and the ducks were all safely hidden away. The mice had even squeezed themselves into Percy's slippers. Everyone had found a cosy bed. Well, I never said Percy. Percy's, Percy yawned and th- snuggled down in his own bed once again. That's better. Now I've got, now I've got plenty of room, he said, and a little to spare for a bowl. That's the end of part one of Percy the Park Keeper. Thanks for watching.